Morning everybody. You're watching this video because you're wanting to see something different, some different content from Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. I'm giving you some different content. This is Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator, on his early morning constitutional walk. I would actually like to say run, but that's um, that's never going to happen. Um, you want to know a bit, bit about this video? Well, I've been very lucky. We've managed to get a job. Um, well, Phil Beckwith's gone international. Yeah, we've gone international. We're over in Europe. I can't be too Pacific. I'll just say we're in Portugal. Um, I don't want to narrow it down any more than that, but let's put it this way. We're not far from Villa Mora. Well, I'm not going to say I've had a walk down to the beach. I'm not that keen. But... Um, yeah, I'm out this morning, just having a bit of a, get some fresh air, because I've had last few days, number of days, working quite late nights to get this job done that I'm doing. And um, it's, let's just put it this way, it's been a bit stressful. <laughs> this job's been a bit stressful to me. Um, you will see some videos over my shoulder there, following on from this video. And I'm going to do a series of these videos while I'm away doing this work because um, it's quite interesting work. I'm in a nice, I'm going to say a villa, it's a bit more than a villa. It's more proper house. You can probably gauge by the stuff that I'm walking around. I'm, um, well, I'm a little bit away from where um, the place is I'm working. Can't, can't disclose too much. But um, yeah, it's... It's been a bit of a stressful video because I would like to have actually said that I was over in the in Europe using some um, paint that I know I like to use. Do you get the idea? Yeah, I was originally going to be using some isomat paint. Now, I'm going to give a big shout out to, to Tim. I've just watched for cars. I know it's early morning, but a lot of Teslas about. Um, I'm going to give a big shout out to Tim, the UK distributor for Isomat, because he's worked wonders. We managed to get some, um, I'll stop here. We managed to get some paint sorted out to get delivery over to Portugal, which was fine. That was coming directly from Greece, but I don't, I'll use my words carefully. We'd got a bit of a problem with the courier and the courier had a bit of an accident with the boxes of paint and let's just say it didn't turn up on time and what did turn up wasn't what I wanted, i.e. I'd got primers come in and I'd got top coats come in. This is Isolac satins and I'd got obviously the primer. Well, it was ordered in plenty of time. We were watching it on the tracking video, uh, on the tracking app, and um, yeah, it was it was here in Portugal, but never being delivered. So I actually got here in Portugal a uh, good number of days ago, and it, it hadn't arrived. Now, I could get on with some work on this job, and you, ne you never guess, by the end of the day, this is close of the week, at the end of the day, the paint turned up at the delivery office that it was being delivered to. And do you know what? It, was the, it wasn't the primer that had turned up, which I could have really done with. It was actually, um, I'll start walking the other way. It was actually the top coats that had arrived, which was no good to me. Now this was back end of the week. This was a Friday at five o'clock. That it got delivered and well that's no good to me is it we're coming up to a weekend i'm going to insert some photos because this box got dropped off to me they were, they were really good the people the management agents of the property they were really good they came and brought the paint as soon as it arrived and just have a look at these pictures talk about not being packed well i mean if you remember what ticarilla paints were like back in the day when they were doing deliveries it was always nine times out of ten you'd probably get a, a spillage in the box I know well this was exactly the same you'll see by these photos that I'm posting here um, but that not to be hard done by or anything like that I, I, everything happens to a, for a reason doesn't it so um, 
the Saturday morning I managed to I'd already done a bit of checking around to see originally when we didn't know whether we could get um, any isomat paint over here I'd already done some checking to see what paints were available in Portugal and um, CIN Sin is the big paint brand in Portugal so um, I managed to touch base oh a good number of weeks ago before I came out to say what paints do they do that are water based quick drying adhesion primer all the usual all the questions you'd be asking now because I'd got that address I drove oh, I'm gonna say 20 minutes probably about a 20 minute drive from where I'm working um, more inland and I managed to get the CIN SIN shop. Spoke to the guys there, explained my situation that my paint hadn't arrived and I need something equivalent, showed them what I'd got. Thankfully, I'd got the colour card of Isomat. I've got a fan deck with me. Again, just in case I'd got the problems where I needed to get some more paint and I was struggling to um, get a match, I got, you know what colour cards are like. The best match you can possibly get off a colour card. Now, CIN paint, SIN, um, were really good. They colour matched off the swatch. They got one of those magic eyes where they scan it. They also got a big fan deck. So once they'd scanned the number and they could see which the the paint was, they also cross referenced it off the colour card to my colour card. And you know what? I like using this term. A blind man on a galloping horse doesn't even cut it. It, it was near as damn it. Do you know what? As near as damn it, you'd actually think I was looking at the same colour card, which was great. So we could actually say let's let's get that made up now. My main thing that I needed was primer. Now they do a primer and it's, well you'll see, it's CIN and it's Aqua Primer. Now I managed to get hold of the blurb, you know the spec data sheet. Now this data sheet re reads really well. It's an adhesion primer. It's, it only comes in white, <laughs> that's the only thing, well, we'll come on to that. It's an adhesion primer. It's also a blocking primer again water based and this is what I could do with because I'll just insert some pictures the doors that I'm doing have been varnished stroke lacquered factory finished wood wood doors and frames the frames I'm a bit like that I don't think they're very much wood on them they're more of a veneer but the doors were a wood with a varnish over them so what we've done is I've I've cut them back i.e. find Merca Gold Flex sanding pad uh, 150s and 240s and I've just taken that sheen they're only in a satiny finish anyway they weren't full gloss I've taken that sheen off the surface and um, cut them back just to give a key I've not wanted to go through that varnish in case that was encapsulating any tanning that was coming through the wood just to be on the safe side I've kept it, kept it there but we've got a, a key on the surface, dusted them all off. I'd even got a, a sponge if I needed to wipe anything off because you don't know what a con contamination might have been on the surface, but there wasn't. So I dusted them off and um, those doors were good to go. Now this tanning stroke um, blocking primer, it was going to, it's got some work to do, shall I say, because the color of the paint that I was actually using, i move so you don't see any number plates of cars. Bit of an exclusive area I'm in now. Um, I asked the guys, because the, the top coat, the finish satin, which is the AC Thane, again, CIM paint, AC Thane, um, I needed the color of the white primer knocking off. So they managed to give me, you know, the universal colorants that they actually put into the machines when they're doing the color mixing they've actually given me the last dregs of the ones that were going to be chucked away of the pots they gave me a red and a black and they says oh just put some of that I spoke English better than my Portuguese um, and they actually put gave me some of these colorants that I could put into the actual primer just to knock the white primer off so it wasn't going to be a stark white against the top coats that I'm going to be putting on which are more of a buffy I can't uh, not brown but they're a bit of a buffy, buffy colour so that being said I could actually say I've knocked off the primer and it's worked really well because I've not got a white undercoat to go over now I've got more of a, a pinky an off an off pink shall I say which is a nice it's, it's got plenty of coverage over the woods that I'm doing and um, it's going to give me a good base for working over with this AC Thane 
CIM paint. Now, I'm nearly back at my residence now. I'm going to call it a residence. I'm going to call it the Big Brother house because I feel I'm on my own and people are watching me, you know, because I've still got internet access. Um, but this is a video. I'm going to keep it short. We're going to keep under 15 minutes. Sometimes you have to adapt. And now, unfortunately, I'd like to have done this video on how good the isomat paint is and I know how good the isomat paint is but unfortunately this video going forward is going to be talking about a Portuguese paint that you and me in the UK have probably never even heard of and probably somewhere else in the, around the world you've never even heard of but so far I've already got a coat on because I've been here a number of days of this primer and I have to say it's really good to the point I'd say to you if we could have this in the UK I think it would be everybody's, and I hate the word, go-to. It would be the go-to paint for everybody because it's doing everything we need. Is the, Give us some comments. Is there some paints out there in the UK that do blocking, grip, water-based, all-in-one? I think a Zin's a 1, 2, 3 plus, but I don't know. I don't know whether it's on the level of what I'm using now. But the paint's really good. So... Um, on that note, I'm going to wind up now because I want to just give a big thanks because recently I've had an influx of people pressing that, is it there? Pressing that um, give thanks button and sending me thanks, which has been very much appreciated. It's been very much appreciated. It helps me um, move forward with video editing. No, I can't even say it. Video editing software and the likes that I'm um, now using, because it's obviously monthly subscriptions. But no, on that note, I'm saying thank you very much to you, and um, I'm gonna get back to it, because while I'm working away, there's not much to do at night, and I'm working quite late. I've done a 15 hour shift one day, so. Right. There'll be more videos following on from this, and probably, if I go like that, the video's on the side, you'll probably um, follow on to using the primer and the top coat. And also I'm gonna do a video of what application methods I'm using. I'm using two fussy blokes as the rollers and I've got also um, Arrowworthy slash cut and classic brushes to use. But that's on another video, so um, yeah, bear with us. See you on the next one. Well, I'll probably still be here, but you know what I mean.